The deep web or invisible web are hidden parts of the internet where sites are not indexed by everyday search engines. The deep web is the direct opposite to what's found on the surface web which is accessible to anybody using the internet. In today's video, I am going to be exploring the darkest corners of the deep web. Without any further hesitation, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get this video started. Welcome back to Crypto NWO, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Crypto NWO, and in today's video, I am going to be searching the darkest levels of the deep web. I've done this a lot of times on my channel before. I know my audience really, really, really likes the dark, morbid, scary type of videos and if you guys really enjoy those type of videos you're really gonna enjoy this I have a lot of websites open for you guys tons of tabs I'm gonna be going through each and every single one of these websites for you guys you guys are really gonna enjoy this video I'm telling you I'm gonna make sure that you guys are gonna subscribe at the end of the video if you're not a subscriber already but without any further hesitation ladies and gentlemen let's go ahead and get this video started the first thing I want to show you guys in the deep and dark web is a bunch of hackers this website is called black hats the NR1 in phone cracking and surveillance social media hacking phone cracking phone surveillance DDoS DDoS and highly customizable tasks. Instahacks is an expert team of extremely accomplished and certified black hat hackers who are assigned cases by their proficiency with the subject. Now this is not a sponsorship for any of these websites you're going to see in this video. Actually, I'm going to say at the end of this video and I'm going to say throughout this video, don't visit any of these websites. There's a big chance you can get scammed. There's a big chance you can get in trouble. There's a big chance the FBI can come knocking at your door. But these are the things that they have like an expertise in. The thing that caught my attention here is the YouTube channel hijacking. That scares the absolute crap out of me. I mean like considering that I have a YouTube channel and whatnot, right? <laughs> this is the scariest thing that I can possibly imagine, but there's probably something here that can scare you, you know, like the mobile phone hacking, email hacking, you know, there's probably something in your emails that you don't want people to take a look at or Twitter hacking, Instagram hacking, computer hacking. They literally have a lot of stuff here and you can click on their product section. You can get a custom hack, a cell phone dump, cell phone live monitoring for $500. I'm pretty sure these are US dollars, by the way. Call flutter. Oh my God. I've been getting a lot of calls on my <laughs> phone lately and I don't know how my phone number leaked, but I'm assuming this is how it happened. Probably not on this link, but there's email bombing. Don't even get me started about my emails. Oh my god, you guys are jerks. People that are like taking my email and they're putting it onto like scam list. To be honest, I don't even use that email anymore. So you guys can just stop doing that. <laughs> An onion DDoS attack with a free sample. Oh wow. So that's really interesting. That's the first site I want to show you guys. That's the Black Hat Hackers website. Contact and register. I'm not going to be doing any of that. But the next thing I want to show you on the deep web is cleaning metadata. If you don't know what metadata is, like once you take your cell phone and you take a picture with your phone, that picture is going to have GPS location. It's going to have your cell phones like IMEI. It's going to have a lot of data attached to the picture, the frame rate, the way you were holding your phone. If you were moving your phone during the picture, it's going to have a lot of data, especially like in an iPhone picture or a Samsung picture. The point I'm trying to say is that metadata is hidden information that's hidden within a photo. So you can use this website over here and there's a lot of other websites, but this one is the onion link. The website's called cleaner and you can open up a photo. For example, I'm going to hit browse. I'll put this photo here. It's the thumbnail I used in one of my live streams. So I just hit clean and it's going to give me like a file, a version of my file that has absolutely no metadata on it. It doesn't have the data in time. It doesn't have the program I use. I use Photoshop to make my thumbnail, fun fact, but it's not going to have any of that information, especially after hitting clean. It's a really good website. It's a neat website that people use. Like look, for example, download external files. Oh my God, download file. That might've been the stupidest idea I've ever done. Don't ever download anything on the deep web. That might've been the stupidest thing I've ever done, guaranteed. But I probably just invited 13 viruses onto my PC. Oh, there we go. Thumbnail just popped up. It apparently has no metadata on it. I'm pretty sure the metadata has been stripped off of it. Voila, it's an interesting website, but that's all with that one. The next website I wanted to show you guys is called We Are Amsterdam. This is a dark web marketplace, a dark net marketplace, deep web marketplace, whatever you want to call it. They specialize in selling a lot of stuff that will get this video demonetized. Like for example, the letters X, T, and C, <laughs> yellow SpongeBob 300 milligram. They look like, uh, it's going to be blurred out, but it looks like a bunch of mini SpongeBobs. Ketamine, <laughs> they have ketamine here. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that will get this video demonetized, these are the categories. They have uh, this one, they have this one, and psychedelics. It's a lot of stuff on here. These are the yellow P Pikachu's fam. Oh my God. They got Colombian blow. Oh my God. All this stuff's going to be blurred out. Each and every individual image is going to be blurred out. Louis Vuitton speed 60. Okay. That's wow. I don't trust any of this stuff. I don't judge if you take this stuff. Maybe you should stop taking it. Actually, maybe you should get your life together. Don't get it off the deep web. <laughs> it's just as sketchy as getting it off a local dealer or whatever, right? But don't get it off the deep web. Like you really can't see this person. This person can genuinely get away with like selling you this stuff, right? So don't get it off the deep web. JavaScript appears to be enabled. Oh, I have JavaScript enabled. I don't know if that's a bad thing. I wanted to talk to you guys about Hitman on the deep web. I'm going to show you a couple of websites in this video of Hitman. Just like hackers, there's a lot of hackers, there's a lot of Hitman on the deep web. It's really easy to find a Hitman website, but are any of them scams? Are any of them legit? I always ask you guys to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, you know, this is the Murder Incorporated Hitman. You can pay between $5,000 to $20,000, exterminate 
anyone. So it says over here, whether you want to get rid of your ex-wife, ex-husband, a business partner, or any other person, Murder Incorporated Hitman has the right hitman for you. We have hitman on standby, ready to accept and execute new orders. If your target is the average person, for example, an ex-wife, business partner, or some enemy, the price is around $10,000 to hire the average hitman. Some less experienced operatives accept $5,000, while other skilled operatives can charge up to $20,000 for shooting a handgun and escape using a stolen car or motorcycle. See our normal hitman, expert hitman. Oh my god, the cost of a sniper hitman starts at $20,000. I mean, the website has hyperlinks, the website has pages. <laughs> Pretty easy to code a website like this, right? But $20,000, our sniper hitman compromise a team of ex-military professional who carry out high-risk missions. The sniper hitman travel by air and they use fake documents. They normally stay in hotels terrible idea as they map out the area where the mission will be done they assess for any surveillance cameras and decide the best time to strike and they also need to create an exit plan after taking out the person the sniper will swiftly leave the area interesting really interesting let's go take a look at the normal hitman not the expert hitman so the cost of hiring a basic hitman is five thousand dollars hiring hitmen are the cheapest option for execution of ordinary people our basic hitmen are trained to kill at close range guaranteeing a high degree of precision i mean this sounds more convincing than the ten thousand dollar hitman doing this close range sounds more of a good deal than hiring a sniper guy some dude sitting there with a big sniper out of a window right anyways that's all with that website the next website i wanted to show you guys here is called lucky p47 absolutely riddled in weapons on this website they're telling you the rate for one bitcoin into euros one bitcoin equals eighteen thousand euros oh my god bitcoin's been taking a beating lately bro there's a lot of weapons here like for example the names of them okay like this sounds familiar a glock 17 okay a smith and wesson 629 okay what the heck is a cz 858 tactical 762 that look this weapon looks scary bro anyways <laughs> that's all with lucky p47 shop but we do have another website here that's called euro guns another website for european people that want to get handguns because i'm pretty sure in Europe there's like a whole outlaw in places like Ireland and Scotland you can't even have like a knife the cops don't even have guns there is what I'm told the Desert Eagle over here you can get a Desert Eagle for 0 0.0673 BTC so we're gonna have to see what that is in US dollars $1,282 so it's gonna run you about $1,200 to get you a Deagle I don't know if that's a good deal. I actually don't know. But like I said, this is in Europe. So 1200 US dollars to get you a deagle. There's a lot of websites that are like this. The next website I want to show you guys is a scam looking website. There's one minute left on this. I don't know why there's one minute left. I don't know what, what's going on here, but this is a scam website. There's a lot of websites on here that's saying, hey, if you click this website or like come onto this website, we'll give you free Bitcoin if you do something for us. Now this website with 46 seconds left, I don't know why, but this person just got 1.5 Bitcoin. 1.5 Bitcoin. You guys saw the price of Bitcoin earlier. This is the current price of a Bitcoin right now. 1.5 Bitcoin cost this much money so apparently these people are just getting free bitcoin by doing what choose the amount of bitcoin you want to generate and you have to make a bitcoin address if you want full bitcoins 2.5 bitcoin that's how much 2.5 bitcoins is yeah you can just hit get bitcoin plain and simple right so i just hit 1.4 bitcoin here starting the mining process it's gonna mine bitcoins using your computer the reason why i hate this website is because it says the word exploiting over here and i don't like the word exploiting especially with the computer virus videos that i've been making so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to leave this website before i lose a complete request failed what? The next scam website I wanted to show you guys is another website that's telling you like how to multiply your bitcoins tenfold in a day. So if you have one bitcoins and you go to this website, you give them the one bitcoin and they're going to send you back 10 bitcoins. They're saying if you send us 0.1 BTC, which is this much money, then they're going to give you one bitcoin, which is this much money. Scam and have the next website I want to show you guys here is called Bizarre Plastic. Cloned cards, counterfeits, PayPal's bank accounts. Plain and simple. So for example, if you I'm on the PayPal section right now, you can get Fun fact, mind blowing fun fact. You can get PayPal accounts on the deep web. There's a lot of people that allegedly claim to sell PayPal accounts on the deep web. And when I mean claim to, this person here says they have one account, one personal bank account from the United States of America that has a balance of $1,462.76. If you want that PayPal account, if you want the $1,462.76, you're gonna have to pay $75 worth of Bitcoin. So for example, email address 123fakemail at fakemail.com. I didn't even know what I did and then proceed to order. It's gonna tell you to send this much Bitcoin to this address, right? It's gonna say send this much Bitcoin to this address below. It's gonna tell you what Bitcoin is. If you're on the deep web and you don't know what Bitcoin is and you're in 2022 and you don't know what Bitcoin is, maybe you're in the wrong video fam. Maybe you should take a look into Bitcoin. But I wanna take a look at the counterfeit section. I wanna see what kind of counterfeits these people claim to sell. So you can buy Canadian dollars, US dollars, euros, the pound sterling. Let's take a look at the US dollar. Majority of my audience is from the United States. Actually, I want you guys to stop what you're watching so far. Go in the comment section while I'm talking and tell me 
me where you're from in the comment section below. I'm from Canada. I'll get it started. Ontario, Canada. Tell me where you guys are from in the comment section down below. You should have finished typing it by now. So $20 US bills, $500 of counterfeit currency is going to run you for 30 bucks. That's what freaks me the hell out. $15,000 of counterfeit currency in $20 bills. This is why I get a little creeped out because there's a very like little chance that these people are going to check to see if the 10 or $20 bill is fake. If you go with a $50 bill or a $100 bill, they're going to put this under their UV machines and probably not going to accept a $100 bill because counterfeit is a big problem. You know what I mean? But if you do $20, even $5 US bills, honestly, I mean, are they really going to scan a $5 US bill? I don't condone this behavior, but this is absolutely freaky. But someone who has $30 worth of Bitcoin, which a lot of people do, they can test buy $500 of fake US currency in 20. This website here is called the private key shop, the Bitcoin private key shop. And this website claims to sell Bitcoin addresses. If Bob wants to send Alice some Bitcoin, like 0.1 Bitcoin or a full Bitcoin, she's only going to need his public key. But if she wants to like steal Bob's <laughs> Bitcoin from his wallet, she's going to need his public key and his private key to access the Bitcoin. This website here claims to sell the private keys to some Bitcoin wallets. Like this Bitcoin wallet here has a balance of 0.15076 Bitcoin, which is this much US dollars. The price is they're offering 0.003 Bitcoin, which is this much money. The reason why I kind of buy this is because the address, like look, 1MU blah, 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 1MU blah, 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 blah. You can click this and see that the Bitcoin wallet has 0.15 Bitcoin on it. Does that mean they have the private keys? No, it doesn't mean they have the private keys at all. But what they also do is they put the first few digits of the, uh, the private key and they put the last few digits of the private key. And they also have some that are saying like sold, sold, sold. I don't know. I don't know if I buy this one to be honest, but like I said, 50 foot pole when we're browsing the deep web. A lot of my new audience doesn't know that. So welcome to the 50 foot pole gang. When you're browsing the deep web, you're gonna have this pole that you're gonna make sure none of these websites are gonna be within this vicinity. You're gonna make sure you don't get scammed. But this is extremely convincing, man. I don't know. I have a betting website here and there's two betting websites that I wanted to show you guys in the deep web. And this one's called BetTor. It gives you 95% winning bets, the leading marketplace for selling winning bets on the deep web. It's very, very vague. It doesn't tell you what games. It says one match score, full support, 95% winning bet. What the heck is the difference between all of these? They literally all are the same thing. One match score, one match score, one match score. They're all different prices. What the hell? This is the subscription prices. I don't understand what's going on. So let's take a look at the frequently asked questions. How can I get a match score? Leave valid contact info. Match score will be sent to you after successful checkout. Three confirmations on the blockchain. Can I order more than one match score? Absolutely. You can send us as much money as possible. They're scammers. They're going to want you to buy all of their services. Buy the most expensive one three times, 20 times, 100 times. Can I get a match score on a regular basis? Absolutely. Freaking lootly fam. What is Bitcoin? Everybody should know what Bitcoin is. If they somehow found this onion link, they should know what Bitcoin is. Now this game is a little bit different here. So for example, you choose the amount of money you want to bet from the list. You choose same or different and you click on the button below. It's basically a betting game where you say same or different. So for example, bet amount, I'll put 0.04 and I press play different. You have to send money to play the game. If you guys want me to spend money on the deep web, like, for example, I don't mind making a 0.005 Bitcoin bet. I don't mind doing that. If you guys want to see it, let me know in the comment section, but I'm not going to do this if you guys didn't even make it to this point in the video. So if you guys are hearing me talk right now and you guys want to see me make a bet on the deep web, then let me know in the comment section. Like I said, 0.005 BTC, I don't mind doing it. If you bet same and A color is same to B color, you win. If you bet different and A color is different from B color, you win. You will lost the game in all other cases. I still don't understand what the heck that means. I guess you would have to play two games to understand if you lost or won. I don't know. These are all the recent games that happened. These are all the payouts. This person lost, this person lost, this person lost. This person won 0.003. Maybe if you guys want to see this being legit or not legit, let me know in the comment section. The next website I want to show you on the deep web is Pirate Crackers. Pirating and cracking, the deep web's favorite things. There's emails hacking, social media hacking, website hacking, grades changing, cell phone hacking, PC hacking, DDoS attack, malicious software, computer viruses. I downloaded the most dangerous computer viruses. I'm gonna shout out that video. Click it over here if you haven't seen it yet. I'm pretty sure everybody in my audience has seen it. But the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is Kamagra, Kamagra for Bitcoin. Without sounding too explicit, but it's just um the PP plus one pill, plus one points for the PP, you know? They have the oral jelly, they have soft tablets, they have polo tablets, super Kamagra. <laughs> you see, I don't know what any of these things mean, but apparently like if you read it, it's um generic Viagra tablets and they're very popular, successful and widely accepted treatment for erectile dysfunction. That sucks. But the next website I wanted to show you guys is called Fish Tank World. Let's have a good break from the weird things, creepy things, sketchy things that we can buy from the deep web. This is a website that's called Fish Tank World and it's a person that took a picture of <laughs> all their fishes. You can take a look on the screen, but let's take a look at uh, Todd the fish. Ah, so we have Todd the cod. Slinky Wiggles, Lizard Fish, Night Dragon, the king of the tank. Okay. Whiskers is the boss of the catfish. Plankers is a catfish that is always wedged in weird spots. Chichlid was one of the most 
most feisty in the community tank, known for chasing Todd the Cod away. Chichit like to be front and center. That's my guy. I'm getting bored of the website. You can just tell it's just a simple website where someone is just flexing all the fish that they have. <laughs> for the next website I wanted to show you guys, let's get this a little bit more interesting. We have SSNDOB. Want to buy social security numbers but don't know where? <laughs> we help find info about social security numbers, date of birth, and other people. If you guys don't understand what this, this website here is by far one of the most interesting websites that I'm going to show you in this entire freaking video. I want you guys to take a look at this freaking website here. There's literally three options on the top. There's SSN, social security number. If you're an American, you know exactly what that means. In Canada, social insurance number for some weird reason. You can look up a social security number. So for example, if I do a free search, what's going to happen? Internal error, please try again later. No. It's looking for that exact person. But if you knew all the information of somebody, the price for a social security number lookup was decreased to $10. $10 worth of Bitcoin. You can throw a rock and find somebody that has $10 worth of Bitcoin. That's what scares me about these websites. They charge cheap prices. They have a relatively good looking website. This is by far the coolest coded looking website ever. Apply. Oh my God. 1959. These are the date of birth. Is there anybody in 96? Like 1957. Rest in peace. The person is most likely dead. They have 40,000 pages. 1992. Alyssa A. 1992. It's a dollar and 50 cents. That's what I mean by creepy. Add to cart selected. How does it look like? So if I go to, this is my cart, my shopping cart. Oh my God. And the reason why this website scares me even more, the reason why this website looks more legit than fake is because you deposit Bitcoin onto their website before you even make a purchase. Deposit Bitcoin onto the website and it's going to say you have funds there. Once you make the transaction, I'm, I'm assuming you get the social security number after making the transaction via the website. So you don't have to go on your Bitcoin and send the Bitcoin. You All you have to do is deposit a dollar and 50 cents worth of Bitcoin onto here. So if you want to pay in Bitcoin, top up in Bitcoin to this address over here. Oh my God. And this is probably the first time I've ever said this is the most legit looking website that I found on the freaking deep web. Don't use it. Don't go on the dark web. Stay off the dark web. I actually am worried about this. This is absolutely freaking frightening because if you knew somebody's first name, last name, their zip code, where they're from and everything, you can get their social security number. That's so freaking creepy. Like I said, take this as a scam. Take every single thing you see in this video as a scam. This person could have just made a really convincing website so you can deposit money onto the website and get fake information. I'm not trying to slander a service on the deep and dark web. What the heck am I doing? But I have to be responsible and tell you guys to stay off this type of stuff, bro. Oh my God. The next website that I want to show you guys on the deep web is called C Market, the International Criminal Marketplace. Now they have obviously another data leak website. They have personal information, personal information related to law violations, personal health information, government documents, government identification, identity document templates, and credit card information. Here's a good example, the personal health information. If you guys don't know what happened to Ireland in, I think it was late 2020 or mid 2021, I'm not too sure. Ireland's health administration, their entire health database got hacked by a bunch of dark web hackers. They stole all of Ireland's health information, their health database, and they put it for sale on the dark web and they were threatening the Irish government to pay a ransom. Say like, hey, we're gonna sell all this information if you don't pay us. The Irish government didn't pay. They put it for sale on the deep web. It's findable on the deep web. <laughs> you can find the Irish government's health information on the deep web because they didn't comply with the deep web hackers. That's what I mean by personal health information. This is one website. I don't say, I'm not, I don't know what this website sells, but I've never been on this website before. I was sent this website from an external party. I just wanted to show you that website. It's relatively interesting. Now, this is free ransom. Absolutely free. I'm not gonna show you guys this website because God knows what happens when you get a hold of free data. Like you can take a look over here. This is a 27 gigabyte leak size. Click read more. It starts downloading onto your computer. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm, I've already downloaded something from the deep web. So my IP address is attached to this. Even though I got a VPN running right now, the VPN is gonna be linked back to me. But for example, the Scottish Association for Mental Health, they have a data leak that's 12.51 gigabytes that was published in 2022, March 20th. That's what I mean. You can take a look at this data leak for free. I'm not gonna be sharing this this website because that's extremely irresponsible of me. I just wanted to show you that this is available on the deep web. There's a lot of these websites here. If you guys notice anything here, like the Gigabyte Technology, oh my God. Gigabyte Technology is a Taiwanese manufacturer and distributor of computer hardware. Gigabyte, Gigabyte motherboards. They have a data leak here that's 46 gigabytes posted in 2021, August 12th. Oh my God, they have 605,000 visits just to take a look at the data leak. I wanna read the data leak. What's going on here? Did I just click it? I clicked it. I don't know why I just did that. What's gonna happen? Is it actually gonna open up a data leak? Part one, 500 megabytes. Part two, 500 megabytes password. That's the password. Internal documents and Intel ma manageability commandable source code. Oh my God. Internal documents and Intel manageability commander source code. They have 10 parts of documents here. Oh my God, that's an actual data leak. Uh, this website here was relatively interesting. I can't believe I found it. There's a lot of websites that claim to have data leaks, but the interesting thing about this one here is you can just click read more, see the data leak for free. Dark leak market. Now, for example, a major Indian cryptocurrency data leak. Cellular data leak for December, 2021. T-Mobile data leak for December, 2021. 
2021, somebody took a, like a snapshot of the servers and has this private information that they're gonna put up for sale. Like this says sold, one sold over here, 21,000 views. The fact that it says sold means that it's for sale on the deep web. But let's just click on T-Mobile data leak December 2021. Let's see how much they're gonna charge me for this. Oh my God, $1,000? Somebody bought that? Buy this leak or oh, you can buy a sample, $1,000. So how much is a sample gonna be? Oh my God, buy a sample. Pay 0.005 Bitcoins. Okay, oh, that's interesting. But the next website I wanted to show you guys, another data leak website. This one is relatively interesting because this is called Data Shop and 500 million Facebook accounts for $20. <laughs> that's the massive Facebook hack that everybody's talking about. It looks like it. 42 million Instagram accounts, 70 million Twitter accounts, 235 million TikTok accounts for the price of $70. 47 million Twitch accounts. This one is interesting. The Minecraft database. Multiple leaked databases from Minecraft, including the UUID, the username, the IP, the email, the password. 1,000 PayPal accounts for the price of $100. They have a ledger dump here. So there's a like hardware of cryptocurrency wallets manufacturer ledger suffered a data breach that exposed $1.3 million worth of private keys. That is true, but does that mean that this is the data from the private hack? I don't know. The TikTok one is, is relatively interesting. 235 million TikTok accounts. So you can use these TikTok accounts to follow your account and get 235 million TikTok followers. Very inactive accounts because you're gonna be the owner of the account unless you were to watch your TikTok that you uploaded on all 235 million TikTok accounts that you just bought for $69. Yeah, that sounds like a pain in the butt. But that's a relatively interesting website. So if I wanna click the TikTok accounts, $69, it's probably gonna take me to a checkout section. It's having a little bit of trouble loading right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go on the next website. The next website is another Hitman website, The Black Mob. We are an underground co-op of ex-military corps, ex-special forces, and trained assassins sponsored by the Chechen mob. We have agents from Russia, Albania, Ukraine, the United States, and UK. Our agents are located in more than 28 countries across the globe. Our agents are masked and execute a order perfectly, leaving no mistakes, traces, or prints. They always say, we leave no traces. This is the most secure. This is the best service you could find. Neither TBM and its agents know its clients' names, addresses, or contact details. We only require your victims' personal details. Interesting. So now these are the services and resources. Now various hitman services, they have a kidnapping order. They carry out assassination, torture, brutal attacks in whichever way position they're described by their clients. That, that's freaking interesting. They have highly trained agents and operative and they never ever miss a target. The videos are available for play and they're gonna be blurred out. So obviously assassination and kidnapping, firearms, poison, accidental style kill, execution style kill, tiger, express, political, virtual kidnapping. What the hell? Or you can also wreck and ruin somebody's life by a person personal bio or a social life attack, a personal financial destabilization, a family financial destabilization, uh, the R word, oh my god. Or you can sabotage somebody's goods and properties, like you can do malicious arson, if you guys don't know what arson is, setting somebody's place on fire. But the next website I wanted to talk to you guys is Hidden Violence. Hidden Violence here, there's a gif, of practically a video going on because of how graphic it is, of somebody, it's some necrophilic bro, honestly. It, this is the description of the website. It's 43.7 gigabytes of shocking videos and photos, and it's called Hidden Violence. Sometimes we need something that satisfies our animal instincts. For this, you can see the hardness and violence here to enjoy the pain and suffering of others. From dismemberment to necrophilia for every taste, linked to materials in the file that is presented below. Absolutely crazy. I, I, it's, it's disgusting because I have a nasty blood phobia. My, my true audience knows that I actually have something called hemophobia, not homophobia. Hemophobia. It means that I have the complete irrational fear of blood. I'm scared of blood fam. I'm really scared of blood. But it's not going to get any better with the next website because the next website is called Satanic Ceremony. Join the Satanic Temple. They have a spectator room and they have a priest room. I'm not going to be showing you guys any of the rooms because I regretted clicking on it earlier. The last ceremonies that happened, these are the .mp4 files. 1,101 views. This one has has 1,150 views, 1,220 views. These are actual, they're gonna be blurred the hell out, but these are actual, apparently, satanic ceremonies. 44 minutes and 32 seconds long of a satanic ceremony going on. This girl is getting smashed by the devil himself. That's the devil. It's a red man. He has horns. She's slumped over. This is absolutely crazy. The photos that I'm not gonna have to blur out, I'm not gonna blur out for obvious reasons, but am I gonna show you guys any of these videos? I'm just telling you that this exists. Oh my God, even the background of the website is kind of sketchy, bro. I don't know how I'm gonna show it. That's the second last website and we're on the last website here and if you guys take a look at just the tab just the tab name it says snuff on it oh my god there's a join now button this is the home page of the website it's a deceased 
woman. She's not wearing any clothes and she has something. She has the, the, the male spectacle inside her. The white male spectacle. Oh my god, this is an absolutely disgusting image. I'm just gonna go ahead and click close tab. That's all with the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you made it this far into the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Put on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video and get this video to the 50,000 like mark, ladies and gentlemen. We've been crushing it with the likes lately, so get this video to 50k likes. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch another video that you're gonna enjoy from me, go ahead and click this video over here. I hand selected this video so I know you're gonna enjoy this video. That's all with the video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the future and remember to stay off the dark web.